Hi everyone, this is Brianna from The Seven Dorks. I'm here to show you the math uh, for the good and the beautiful, the manipulatives and the books that I have printed out. I had a few people request um, what it looked like and my setup for everything. So I just want to kind of run through it here for you real quick so everybody can get an idea on like if you buy the PDFs, how to do it. Very simple. It does take a little bit of time to cut out because especially Math K has a bunch of little teeny tiny pieces. Um, so it does take a little bit to cut those out and laminate them if you choose to laminate them. You don't have to laminate them. You can just cut them out. And like, especially if you have just one child, just cut them out. I wouldn't recommend laminating if you have one child. Um, if you have multiple children that will be using the, the courses throughout many years, yes, laminate them. So... Very simple. First, I have Level K math book from The Good and the Beautiful. I put both uh, parts one and two in the same book, um, used a three ring binder, um, and made it easier. This probably needs a two inch binder to make the pages flip a little bit easier, but this is just something I had laying around. So I printed off the levels one k one and two i just did in a three ring binder just click print and print on both sides that's all you need to do um for things that i had bought somewhere else um like i know they have counting blocks uh, when you buy the physical box from the good and the beautiful i chose not to buy the physical manip manipulative box sorry um so they had these little squares at my local Dollar Tree. It came with all these many, many squares. These fraction circles were a separate buy at the Dollar Tree. These all were one and all these squares were in another. So that was very awesome. Um, dry erase little marker came with something else. Um, and I just put them in this box. Um, so I'm going to put other things in this box, but I'm just gonna show, uh, this is what I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, so that's just a separate buy. That was $3 all together there. This is what I printed off from the Good and the Beautiful. I printed off the cards. You have your even and odd cards. You have um, number cards. You have shape cards. And you have these 10 frame counting number. I just laminated these and I put them all together. I um, put a rubber band around them and I stick them in this box. All right, you have. I have them in this box just so I didn't lose them because at the time when I cut these open, um, cut these into pieces, I did not have a little Ziploc baggie. But I'm going to put all the garden pieces in one bag, the bee pieces in another, and the inchworm in another, um, just to make it easier. Because I'm sure these are for a little game, but I'm not 100% on that because we haven't started the school year yet, so I'm not sure how to play the games or anything. So that's what I got. I'll be put, taking these out of the this container and be putting in a Ziploc bag, and that'll go in here too. That way we can just grab this and go. Um, I still have to print out the tense frames because I actually forgot I did not print those out. I thought I was done. I guess not. But um, I did print out the handwriting. Um, this needs to be laminated because they're going to uh, use a dry erase marker and trace over these. Um, to learn how to practice writing numbers. But I laminated, printed on both sides and laminated both sides. Part, part, whole, whole mat. I don't think this needs to be laminated, but I went ahead and laminated it anyways. Um, and my calendar for level K. I laminated the front page and the back page just to make it a little bit more sturdier. Um, printed it out. I, um, just like this. Sorry, that's a big view right there. This is a quite wide book. Um, so the way I binded it is a little strange. Um, I didn't, I couldn't find a binder or anything that's odd shape and I was just sitting around thinking, what can I do to hold these pages together? That's simple, cheap, does not take hardly anything to do. I took a piece of tape and I ran it straight down the middle and I did that with every single page. It made it super easy. It lays completely flat on the table. So simple, simple way to bind this. It's only a few pages. You can see it's very, very thin. 
Um, so it doesn't take long at all to do this. Yes, I know, taping it is kind of strange. But they're going to use this for one year and then it's going to get thrown out. And I didn't want to spend a lot of materials or anything trying to bind it or anything. Um, so you can just, with regular tape, tape that you'd use to tape up a gift, just run it straight down the middle like I told you. Very, very simple. And that way they can color, they can write in here and color with color ground however they want. I don't recommend laminating this because they will be writing here. Okay. You have the hundreds chart. Um, I actually had to look up on how to make this because I saw it and I'm like, oh my goodness, what do I do here? I have not, no idea what this is supposed to look like. Um, so I actually looked at the site and on YouTube of people who actually purchased the um the uh, whole set of the manipulatives and I was like okay I can do this I can figure this out so again I laminated the front and the back use tape to tape them together this they had pouches um, to hold these pieces in and I looked everywhere for some type of little pouch or something I could use to just stick on like they had and I couldn't find them so what I do I sat around and I thought what can I do this is actually a, I cut up a gallon size Ziploc bag. I put tape on the side, here on the bottom and here on the side. That way these pieces would not fall out. Perfect little pouch to hold these. So if you were looking at trying to do it at home, it is very easy. Very, very easy. So that is your hundreds chart right there. See how it folds. I didn't do the front cover because when I pick this up, I know what it is because it's kind of bulky and so, so that is that. So for all of your math stuff for the good and the beautiful that you will need other than the, the tens frames, that's what I did. Very, very simple. That's all you need to do. Um, when I print out the tens frames, I will be putting all that. This also got purchased at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put all that in here to keep them all in one spot. Very simple. Um, level two, one and two, the boxes are the same. Um, but I printed it out because we're starting off with level two. I'm sorry, level one. For the My Planner, for level one, I did the same way. Laminated the front and the back. Taped the pages together. Um, very, very easy way to do it. Um, I did not buy sticker paper. These are supposed to be stickers. I did not buy sticker paper. We're just going to cut out what she wants and glue it to wherever she wants to put it in her planner. So, that's how I did the My Planner. Okay, she also has a tens frame for hers. Okay, we have our game mats. Um, I laminated these. You don't have to. I did because I do have a few children coming up behind her. Here's some tens frames. 20s frames and some games, some of the game pieces. Those were laminated on both sides. Um, I printed them on one side of the page and I just laminated both. That way, you never know, what if we spill some drink or something on the table. Um, game instructions. I was going to put them in the binder with her actual uh, course book, but I decided not to, so I just stapled them. And they're going to go in the little pouch as well with all of these uh, game mats and things. Um, for level one and two, you have these tangram pieces, a bunch of these. They're like 50 to 60 of these. Um, I did not laminate these. I cut them, I printed them on one side of the page. I folded them in half, and we're just going to lay them on the table like that and have her do the... Um, pieces with the tan gram pieces there. Um, I bought the same exact pieces from the Dollar Tree for this level. The cards were easy to print out. We have the um, greater than, less than, subtraction. You have your wipeout cards, you have your ones, your tens, and your hundreds over here. I just laminated those, cut them out. Very, very simple. 
Also the same for these number cards. Did the exact same thing. Very, very simple. And then I was actually running low on um, uh, my laminate material. So when it comes to the domino pieces, I didn't want to run to the store. So that packing tape I was talking about, yes, the packing tape. I laminated these with the packing tape. Uh, yes, I know that's a little strange, but it works. Um, they feel just like they're a little thinner than the actual laminate paper. So it's kind of neat. Um, but it worked great. I mean, you can flip through them easily. You don't have to worry about them sticking together. They did it great. So basically, I just cut these into strips to fit along the tape. I laid them down. You know, I did like maybe three or four. Cut the tape, flipped it over, laid it down. Very, very simple. If you run out, ever run out of laminating paper and you need to do something small, packing tape will work. <laughs> I guess that's a hack. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we did these. So that's just about it. Um, I bought this from the Dollar Tree a while back. It's just money that they can kind of um, practice with. This goes along with it. These were laminated. These little pieces, you have your fraction pieces. Um, oh, I dropped it on the floor. So this is your hole, your third. Um, I laminated these with the tape. These are supposed to be little marble pieces. When you buy the actual kit, I believe these are just a tad bit thicker. Um, I think they might be like little wooden pieces, but I'm not sure because I don't have the actual box. But this is how I did them. Um, and they got little, I don't know if they'd be Easter eggs or what. So these little egg pieces and they have little tangram pieces to be putting on those tangram cards that I talked about. Um, I have a four sided die, sorry, six sided die and um, I need to purchase a 10 sided die but um, I have to find one. I think I might have to go to Amazon for that one. Um, but that's what I got here. These are also going to be put in little baggies and put all into this box that way it's all in one spot. But for math, that is all I have for you. Um, very simple if you want to print um, the manipulatives or not. You do have to buy a few extra things, but to me the cost is worth it to buy a few extra things in the whole big old kit and wait for it to come in. Um, because right now with the COVID-19, I didn't want to have to wait because we're actually going to be starting school here in a couple days and I wanted to go ahead and have everything ready. Um, so. And I have to worry about shipping because actually I'm still waiting on one book from another place um, for my math for one of my children and it hasn't arrived yet. So hopefully that'll be here in time for school. And I didn't want to have to worry about that with things like this. Um, that way at least my younger kids could go ahead and start math and then we can go ahead and get going with the school year. But that is all I got from math level K one and two from the good and the beautiful. Um, if you would, like and subscribe. I will see you guys again soon with a couple more videos of the good and the beautiful stuff that I print. Thank you. Have a great day.